everyone, I'm Stacey Holland. Thanks so much for joining us. Well, plants have been used as medicine for thousands of years and dandelion is no exception. We found a dandelion product in the Real Health Medicine Cabinet and the team has tried it out and we're delighted with the results. But before we get into it, let's unpack the health and medicinal benefits of dandelion. I'm joined by Dr. Van der Cash Farmer uh, to discuss the topic. And when I think of dandelion, I think of a pretty flower, right? So that's what most people's reference will be of it. But the first time I found out about its medicinal use was reading a book by Margaret Roberts, the late oh. Margaret Roberts. And of course, she's been talking about herbs and the medicinal uses. So many people might find it strange to take a flower and then detoxify through that. <laughs> sure, sure. Um, in fact, uh, dandelion is actually a weed. <laughs> yeah, it is. I was waiting for you yeah. to correct me. <laughs> you, you know, the, the, that weed that has the, the leaves like a yes. rocket? Yes. And the flower grows into a yellow flower, yes. but then it makes that white puffball. Yep. You blow it and, and it floats over the kids. wind. Yeah. Exactly. That's dandelion. But um, yeah, so it has some medicinal properties mm. for detoxing. Mm. It supports the liver mm. mainly. Um, but it can also be good for the kidneys in terms of helping you as a diuretic. Mm. So it has that effect both on the liver as well as the kidneys. So, um, you know, both the leaves as well as the root is medicinal. Yeah. Um, and they have slightly different effects, okay. but also overlapping effects. Okay. So, for example, the, the root is more for the liver specifically, where okay. it helps to protect the liver cells. Um, it also has some benefits. It's been shown in studies to actually um, have some effects on cholesterol. So it can help to reduce the bad cholesterol, um, to reduce triglycerides, so to speak, and then also to up the good cholesterol, mm. your HDL. Mm. Um, and then the leaves also have the protective effect for, for the liver cells. Um, sorry, and the root is also antioxidant. Yes. Okay. Very important. Okay. So the leaves also have antioxidant effects, um, but also can help to prevent a little bit of inflammation, the chronic low-grade inflammation within the liver cells, which can happen because of toxicity. Yeah. yeah. Okay, and it's particularly used for people that are going through a cleanse or a detox. Sure. Um, let's, let's zero in on that a little bit more. Okay, just understand there's two, two types of detoxing, so cleansing in, in, and in, detoxing. Okay, because and the body's naturally detoxing all the absolutely. time anyway. Just very briefly, cleansing is a little bit more related to actually helping the colon to clean out or helping the kidneys to clean out, all right? So you would take a diuretic to help you to get rid of water. Mm -hmm. And obviously you need to drink a lot of water mm. as well. Um, or you would take something like aloe to flush the, the, system the digestive yeah, system yeah. out, or maybe Epsom salts or something like that. That's a cleanse. Detoxing is more, more where you actually support the body's natural detoxing processes by supporting the liver and supporting and the kidneys. The kidneys. Okay. So that could possibly be a longer term process, okay? Even though it can be a very quick thing, it can mm. be a one day detox mm. or a three day detox, but it should be a little bit of a longer thing and also together with some nutritional changes, dietary changes, um, cleaning out the system in terms of staying away from problematic mm. foods or you know, toxic things like cell phone that can cause mm. issues, mm. Um, staying away from or reducing your exposure to chemicals in your detergents and all those sort of things. If you do all of that as a package together, it's mm. a better detoxing process than just a cleanse. Yes, I Does hear that you. make sense? Well, and, and maybe you can then highlight when people do do the shorter term cleanse, mm. some of the side effects uh, a healing crisis that could occur that may feel worse before they yeah. feel better and why that is? Um, if I can put it in these way, you know, when you are releasing toxins, if we look at it from, a, from an overweight perspective yeah. quickly, that will really make sense yeah. to, to, to listeners or to viewers because fat is a storage vessel for, for toxins. toxins. So pesticides, plastic-based chemicals, etc., those things can actually be stored in fat cells. Mm. So when you detox, typically, it goes hand in hand with a little bit of weight loss. Mm. So those fat cells that get broken down can release toxins into the system. So if you don't support your system mm. in terms of supporting the kidneys to flush out and supporting the liver to function better, mm. you can get a little bit of like a healing crisis yes. and sort of flu type of symptoms, mm. feeling a little bit more tired, etc. Skin rashes. Skin rashes especially skin rashes. and Because it's a detoxifying organ as well. Absolutely. And the simple way to, to um, prevent that is actually to make sure that you're drinking enough water. Most people don't drink enough water when they do 
their own little home, home cleansers. And that's when you, especially the skin rashes. So I actually love using this when I embark on a cleanse because I yes. think many people will start a cleanse without the long-term view of supporting yes. their detoxification. Yes. Yes. And that's important not to just rid the body of toxins now or you're feeling like you need to, it's springtime. So tell us about the, di the dandelion spring mm -hmm. um, body cleanse. Well, again, it's a little bit of a mis misuse of the term, but yeah. um, it's not really a cleanse. It's really to support, support the system. Support detoxification. Yeah. Okay. Because, like I said earlier, dandelion as the herb, yeah. it has supportive uh, properties for the liver cells, particularly. It protects the liver cells, but it, because it's antioxidant, all of the antioxidant properties or processes that you do when you're detoxing, mm. it will support those organs mm. to help you to detox. Let's talk about the product. Mm -hmm. What sets it apart? Why is it so unique? And sure. why would you recommend it for sure. people? Well, you know, there are many dandelion products out there. Out but there. Our product specifically, most products are either the root or the leaf. Mm. Our product contains both. both. Because we okay. want to cover both the kidneys as well as the liver. Okay. Um, it's a vegetable catch capsule, so mm -hmm. it's safe for vegans, safe for any religious group as such. And stability <coughs> as well, which is important. Absolutely. Yeah. I mean, all those tests have to be done. Yeah. And you've got to check that the that what is in there is actually yes, in there. Yes, exactly, because yeah. that's scary yeah. actually yes. for some people. So adults, one to two capsules, two to three times a day Correct. with meals. Yes. Yes. Why with meals? Um, actually after meals. Okay. Just because with the digestive process, you want dandelion to go in through with the food, with into the liver as the liver is processing with the food. Could you take um, it on an empty you, stomach? Absolutely you can. Okay. Absolutely you can. Okay. And very importantly with water. Yes. Yes. And is it safe for children? Our product specifically is dosage, dosage packaged for adults. Adults, yeah. Now, some people say, but can't I open the capsule? Yes, you can, but then you don't know how much you are giving. Mm. Mm. So, you know, if it's under supervision, possibly a physician or a phytotherapist or a naturopath yes. or a homeopath, they might actually prescribe it for a child for specific conditions. Yeah. But then it's under supervision. So... Uh, can it be used in conjunction with prescription medication? In general, yes. As long as you consult with your physician, um, things should be done in consultation with them anyway if you take natural products. You mm. should always inform them. Mm. Um, but there are some specifics where you should be careful. So mm -hmm. people who are on, for example, warfarin, your mm -hmm. blood thinning drugs, mm -hmm. they've got to be careful. Um, people who have liver problems mm. should be careful, mm -hmm. obviously. Um, some of the contraindications are for, for, for bile obstruction. So anyone who's in that category of, of taking medications for those sort of situations should be careful. Can you buy it online? Stacey, you can buy it online. Okay. The one that uh, most people buy from is from Faithful to Nature. Okay. Yeah. And then Discam, Clicks, your independent pharmacies, etc. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for joining us and adding this to our Real Health Medicine Cabinet.